Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name's Anthony and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to turn this beautiful model into this beautiful figure drawing. Now, as a fashion designer, we sometimes use these figure drawings to draw over and make the clothing look really nice and beautiful. And it also gives a more flowy visual look to your design. So I'm gonna show you how to draw this figure so you can use it for your future designs or projects or anything like that that you want. Okay, so the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna find a photo of someone that you like the look of. You wanna make sure that this person is from facing. You wanna make sure that they look in proportion. And also it's probably better if they are in swimwear so you can get the body contours exactly right. Now the first thing that you need to do is check that this person is proportional. And that is quite easy to do. So if you just draw a circle, over the head about the size of the head and then you copy and paste that seven times and then if you just highlight them click on it and then use the distribution spacing tool it should align them all together and then you just bring it down and then as you can see from head to toe this person is eight heads high so we call this a eight figure head female now this is great so that means that she is in proportion but for illustration purposes, we usually like the legs to be slightly longer and we also like the arms to be slightly longer as well. Now, I'll go through with you and show you how to do that shortly, but for now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go around and draw the outline of her. So don't draw the hair, just draw the outline of the head for now. We are gonna draw the hair in later, so don't worry about it too much. And then just follow the contours of the body round, making sure that you follow everything every kind of angle and make sure that you follow every muscle or anything like that and just make sure that you're outlining the whole body and what you want to do is make sure that you're not using too many straight lines because don't forget the body is not made of straight lines you want them to have nice natural curves so on this she's wearing shoes so we'll just draw around the shoes now and we'll get back to that in a second and back down to follow the body now we're only drawing the outline at the moment. We are gonna go in and separate the arms. We're gonna separate the hands and all of that sort of stuff shortly. And make sure you are getting all the little curves and contours of the fingers. It is really important to make it look as lifelike as possible. So that is the outline done. Okay, so now what you wanna do is you wanna go and separate the arms and legs and the head. So basically what you're doing is you're now drawing in these lines here for the body. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually draw to here and then we'll separate this hand shortly. Then do the same here, following the contours of the body and the bathing suit that she's wearing. And then select your lines and then go to your pathfinder and use the divide. So once you've divided it, now you can go back in and then start dividing extra lines. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep dividing until I've got everything that I need out of it. So first of all, we'll do the hand. And don't forget, make sure you're getting all the contours of the hand, make sure you're getting every finger, then you click that and divide it again. And then finally, one last time, you can divide this. Okay, so you should be left with a little hole there that you can just delete. And then what you want to do is divide this side as well. So make sure that the hip is a lovely curve and then follow the angle of the hand like so. And then you would divide that as well. And then you would go in one last time and divide here. Now we are gonna be moving the arms down slightly in a short moment. So you will have to do some amendments around the thigh and around this area here, but it is so easy. I'll show you how to do that shortly. Now all you need to do is just divide the neck. Now we divide all of these sections to make it easier to work with. So you're then working with components. So now what you wanna do is you want to grab the arms and the legs because you want to lengthen them and you want to make them more, you want to make them slightly elongated and slightly more exaggerated. So if I just group them together and then jump into them, what I usually do is I draw a line 
to here and then the same on this side as well and then the same here and here and then we're going to do the same with the legs here here and the same at the bottom here to here and then what you want to do is you want to highlight the legs and then you divide them and the same for the arms so highlight and then divide. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on the legs first. So we'll work on this one. I usually just move them down slightly. So it's not loads. So just double click into them. And then what you wanna do is just move them away slightly. Now, if you notice, it's not added too much to the actual length of the legs, but it's just gonna give it that more model-esque elevated look. So once you've done that, you wanna highlight them all and group them. And then you wanna look for areas that look a little bit too linear. So like, if I just go here, this to me doesn't look like quite right. So I'm just gonna round that off. And here it looks a little bit too angled. So I'm gonna delete this line here. Then you could also delete that one, this one, and that one. So that's your first leg elongated. Now it's not too much longer, but it just adds a little bit of length. So let's do the same with the other leg. Okay, so that's that. And that's the legs elongated. Now, if you wanna see how they look, we can just quickly do that. If you look, it doesn't look like a massive difference, but it just gives you that extra bit of length, that bit of drama. And then we're just gonna do the same with the arms. So if you just click into them, and then what you wanna do is move down just slightly. And that's one arm done. Okay, now we're gonna come back and fix that base in a second, but let's just do this arm first in the same areas as that. So, so now what you wanna do is you wanna go back in and you wanna delete any points that are wrong. So you can, you can get the leg here, and as you can see, it's got a huge chunk missing. So just delete that that and that and then angle it out slightly there we go and then you can do the same on this side so grab the leg and then all you have to do is delete the points that won't be needed which is the hand super easy just delete all the points so that is her all length and let's have a look at to see if she looks good to me she looks great so let's just move her out of the way and as you can see it's just slightly elongated let's bring this hand to the front perfect okay so now what we need to do is work on the contouring lines to make sure she's got a little bit more life and then what we're going to do is work on her fingers and her face and then we'll go into the hair next but first let's start on her linear contours so now all you have to do is find different points where she's got body lines so for example she's got one coming here so just draw a line here and then normally what I would do is I would draw another line quite close so like this and this and then if I get them all together and then press group they'll be all together and then I can double click in and then all I have to do is just draw the rest of the lines and they'll remain grouped and then you're not interfering with anything else it's its own kind of layer and you can just go and do as much as you want so do all the top body part first don't worry we're not going to leave these lines as thick we are going to make them thinner so that's the first section Done. And then what you want to do is work on the legs before you work on the hands. So obviously you've got the knee area here. So what I always do is I draw the knee in the position that it was in and then you can move it down to the correct position once you've done it. So for example that's them and then you just move it down slightly and the same with these as well. It's not much, it's just to about there to the natural knee. What you want to do is you want to grab all the lines that you've done so far and make them 2.5 as thin as you can get them and then make them like that and then just double check where you've got your lines. So here and here, the line's fine, but I want it to start thicker. That's what we're gonna do, and we're also gonna make it. And then everything else is fine, actually. No, I wanna do a face line. Now what you wanna do is you just wanna move this down so it's in the right position for the hands. So the first one we'll do is this one. And then all you're gonna do now is do exactly what you did before, but with the fingers. So you're just following the lines, and then you've just got a few extra lines here, just coming off the fingers here here now what you need to do is draw your fingernails so okay so what you want to do is you just want to grab everything again group it and then just go in and work on it a little bit more and we can fill the nails in so we'll do them 0.5 and we'll fill them all in 
with a grey colour. You'll want this one to be this kind of line and then we'll go 0.75 as well and the same for this. And then you want all of these lines to be the pointy lines. Okay, so that should be your first one done. So then move this other hand into position and do the same again. And then that is basically your hands done. Now it's up to you what you want to do. You can add more detail to the hands, you can add less, it's all up to you. I'll probably go in and sort this out a little bit because I'm not happy with how the nails look. To be honest, they look a little bit scary. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is work on the face contours and the construction of that. And it's kind of following the same process except making a face. So let's get started on that. So what you want to do is make sure that the picture is in the right place first. So, here we go. Let's start with the lips, just like that. Do a little chin. Now let's do the nose. So again, now you wanna draw your actual nose line. So you go like this. Here she's got a really nice petite nose. Here she's got a line coming down and then slightly round here, which would connect to there. And then she's also got another line here. Perfect, we'll make them thin and pointy at the end. So that's the nose done. We'll do the same with the lips here. And then we can draw the ear in a sec, but let's do the eyes now. So you've got that, then I'm just gonna leave it that width, but then do that. Then we can do an eyebrow coming up and over. And then this is what you can use. You can use your profiles here. There should be one where it goes in like that. If I just round the edges and make this two, that's a really good eyebrow size. And you can do the same on this, like that, okay. And then all you'd have to do is object, path, outline, stroke. And then just make them a gray for now. So now we're gonna do the eyes. So you wanna draw yourself a circle for the actual color. And then let's use a gradient like that. And then we're gonna go slightly more in the center for the pupil. Now these look a bit crazy, but don't worry, they won't look like that in the end. So you've got your pupil there and it's still looking a bit scary. So then let's just put a bit of contrasting bits on like that and then here as well. Then if you bring this to the front, there is your eye. So let's group all of this together and just move it into a point that doesn't look so crazy. Copy and paste, bring that over here, angle it a little bit and then move the eye section a little bit over so it looks like she's staring at you. So now we can draw the ears. So you don't need to put too much detail on it. You can just try and follow the lines that have already been there. So we all know what an ear looks like, so I'm just gonna quickly do that now. Sorry about that, the dog is barking on the outside, but it's okay. And that is the face, done almost, but I like to put a little bit of color behind the lips. So I'm just gonna connect them to up, and then if we just put a pink on for now, and then we'll just make it a little bit more blushy kind of pink, like around there, and then we can send that to the back. So that is her face, done. So let's have a quick look and make sure that we like the look of it. I think she looks really nice, very pretty. So now the only thing that we need to do is work on her hair. So again, if you bring this lady to the front, all she's gonna do is draw her hair in. So go around all the contours that are already there, follow it round because this is actually gonna go over the top. And if you want, you can draw all the extra bits like this. I'm not gonna draw all of them, I'll draw this little bit and bringing it back here. So then you just want to do that. And then what you want to do is you want to give her hair just a little bit of life so it doesn't look so flat. And all I'm doing is I'm just drawing like little spiky bits that's going to be kind of like the highlights or the shine from the camera. I mean, you don't need to be too accurate with this. I mean, you can be if you want, but it's only just a little detail like that. And then maybe just put a little bit of shine here. And it also gives the hair a little bit of movement when you do it like this. So grab everything. There you go, she's got her hair now. Now, if you want, you can leave it at this point or you can go further into detail and sort of pick out the highlights and the lowlights when it comes to her body contours. Now you don't necessarily need to do this, but it is always a fun way to make them look a little bit more 
lifelike. So I'll just show you how to quickly do that now. Get the image and then you find literally the highlights of the body. So we'll do them first. She's coming in here like that and then just make it white. And you can do the same here. And again, you don't need to be too delicate with this. It's just literally giving her a bit more life. This is just literally to help out and make it look a little bit more lifelike. So then bring it down on the legs. And again, don't forget you've made the legs longer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lengthen that shortly. So then go ahead and group them. Now we get rid and then, and that's all of her highlights done. Now, if you wanna go ahead and do the low lights, that's pretty easy as well. It's just following the same procedure, but I usually like to get the actual body We'll copy the actual head and then paste it over. She's got a bit of a shadow here coming like down her neck slightly. Now it's going to look really weird, but... And then I separate it. And then I also do a little bit of contouring around her face as well. You don't really need to do much contouring here because she's already got it. So you can delete that section and that is this bit done. So I always put that on got a little bit more definition. Now you can do the rest, the same with the rest of the body if you want to. It's completely up to you if you want to do this. I wouldn't go overboard. I'd just do little bits and bobs where you can and just try and follow a similar line. So obviously around the edges, there'll be a little bit more of a shadow. So you can just get rid of that, get rid of this arm then. Right, so that's all the shadows done for the body. So all you need to do is grab them all, paste them on, and then use your eyedropper tool like that. I actually quite like it when it's not that contrasty. It looks a little bit like that. You wanna make sure it's under anything that it needs to be under. And there you go. That is the body fully drawn and contoured. Now, the only thing that we actually need to do is the shoes. I forgot about them. So let's do them really quickly. Super easy. It's just literally separating it a little bit. So all you need to do is line up the legs where it needs to go. Just separate the lines. So there you go. It goes around there like that. Super easy. And then you can colour this in whatever colour you want. Let's go for a darker colour. And the same for this side as well. And boom, that is your lady fully done. If you notice she is slightly elongated, she has got slightly longer legs, slightly longer arms, but she still looks in proportion. The reason we elongate the arms and legs is so you can have a more dramatic drawing. Now you don't need to do just this pose. I've actually done a few more if you would like to see them. So I've actually drawn two others in different positions, one where she's walking and one where she's got her hands above her head. So you can do different positions if you want. You can do front, you can do back, you can do side. And it just takes a little bit of time, but I really feel like when you're drawing over the top of these, you can elevate them. Now, if you were gonna draw over the top of these, I would suggest making them quite faint. So you could highlight them all and then probably dilute them to like maybe 40%. As you can see, that is a lot lighter, but then as you're drawing over, you can see the kind of garment a lot clearer, but that's up to you, that's personal preference. What I'm gonna do, if you wanna draw these, follow this tutorial. However, if you don't feel like drawing them, that's completely fine. I'm actually selling these on my Etsy. You can go and buy them now if you just click the link in my description. They're not selling for too much money. I think they're selling for around £10. So if these are the kind of blocks that you want, then go ahead and purchase them down below. I will be doing videos in the future for a menswear figure and also a plus size figure as well. So if you want to see them, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and a like because 
it really, really helps. And if you've got time, don't forget to check out my Etsy shop where you can buy cards and vectors to help support you in your everyday design life. And it really helps support this channel. All right, okay, thanks for watching. All right, bye. Tra, tra, tra. Bye.